The Mid Journey community is absolutely amazing. You've got to see what they've created. And everything you see in this video has to do with the new style tuning feature that Mid Journey recently released. The first thing I want to show you is this spreadsheet made by Sham Bibble. Thanks so much for this. What they discovered is that each choice in a style tuner is actually the same across all style tuners. If you were to tune different prompts, you would be making the same choices across each of the pairs. That might be a little hard to wrap your head around but let's look at the spreadsheet what you need to understand is that this of course is a subjective opinion but these have been diagnosed across 30 different prompts so a lot of work has been put into these descriptions and any of the highlighted tendencies you see happen to have a very strong influence let's just take a quick look at dial number one Shambibble noticed that on the left side, they've seen a lot of high contrast shading and photos when in RAW, and it's been semi-confirmed that they're using the default stylize for those particular photos. Whereas on the right side of the first pair, they're noticing low contrast art in RAW, a more flat composition, and possibly using the weird parameter. Again, these are subjective, so you may disagree with their wording, but this effort and this amount of work is extremely valuable. In fact, they went on to describe all 128 pairs. That's 256 different choices. Like here, for instance, in dial 104, something I don't even think I've ever seen myself, they've noticed that it's a lot of flat art and seems to be anti-technology, but that's not clear cut, maybe not the best way to describe it. Black and purple blobs they've seen, and it struggles to draw bodies. Whereas on the right side, they've noticed neon lighting, photo realism and it's similar to the 99th pair on the left side but more colorful again that sort of insight is just fascinating and they've included the solo code for all of these individual choices but the real reason why i need to share this with you is because of this next page style sliders for mid journey version one this page was created by ktemi and Thank you so much for this. What they did was take the descriptions made by Shambibble and create a slider that adjusts the code and determines how much weight you want each choice to have. That is just mind blowing. Let me quickly explain what you're looking at and how it works and then we'll do some live examples. I know this might be hard to see in the YouTube video but we're just going to focus on this first row here. The 1L and the 1R. You'll notice up here on the left that you have the generated style codes. 8, 7, all the way down to just 1. And when you mess with the sliders you'll notice those codes change in real time. So the key thing I want you to focus on here is this first code. 6 q o e d h f p dash 3 v w u d m j h Now that you've seen that whole code, I want you to pay attention to the left side of it, the 6Q part. When we take this first slider here for pair number one, and we move it all the way to the right, we get that 6Q code all the way up. That means we have 100% chosen the right side of that pair. And this is how the regular style tuning works. You just choose left or right. Now that it's back in the middle, pay attention to the second half of this first code, the 3V. If we move this slider all the way to the left, we end up with 3V. So when the slider is in the middle, that means we are completely split 50-50 between the left side and the right side. Are you with me so far? What makes this sliding tool so great is that we can manually select how much we want of either side. Let me show you really quick. We'll move it all the way to the right and we have the 6Q. But let's say we move it about halfway to the right. I want you to ignore number two and number three for now because I don't quite understand it. But look at number four. When we generate four style codes, we have the 6Q, the 6Q, the 6Q, three parts right side 6Q, and one part 3V, the left side. Now, theoretically, you could do this on your own. When you add a dash between each code, you're essentially dividing up the entire Entire code within itself. So when you have two codes, each code will be worth 50-50. When you have four codes, each code will be worth 25%. So having three of the same code and one separate is equal to 75% and 25%. Again, you could have done this on your own, but generating these codes with these descriptions just saves so much time and fast hours. You don't have to tune the prompt yourself. You can use any prompt with any of these codes. Unlimited possibilities. So let's try an example. I noticed this one at 24 
L. That's the left side of the 24th pair. It says Wes Anderson-ish colors, contrast, and flat composition. So you know what? Let's choose entirely that one code and see what it comes up with. Let's see if it's accurate. You know, I have to see what Batman looks like because Batman is the perfect foundation. We know what he's supposed to look like regularly. So whenever we add codes or art styles, we can see exactly what that word is doing to Batman. So we're going to do imagine Batman dash dash style then paste the code and we're gonna see if this creates some sort of Wes Anderson type look I'm not gonna lie I don't really think that works so maybe let's try a different subject and see if we can figure out what Shambibble meant with that description let's try something like a doctor's office okay maybe I see the color contrast they were referring to and for the record here's Batman with that code at s750 so a higher stylized value brings out more of the style code I'm not personally sure how I would describe this but I don't hold it against them for labeling the descriptor this way. In fact, let's run our own style tuner quiz and see what we would label the 24th pair on the left side. Okay, here's the tuning test. We'll scroll down to the 24th on the left side. Well, again, I don't know how I would describe this, but that is exactly the look that we just got from using that code. So that's proof that the codes match the pairs. But as far as your personal description of what that look really is, I'd say maybe that is completely subjective. Well, let's play around with this and generate some more code. I like the idea of a surrealist or CGI toon look, big eyes, smooth color. And then how about this, photo 3D bias, pink blobs, unsettling cutesiness. Okay, and maybe we can try dark, busy, cool colored illustrations, strange angles. Put that there. So we've chosen three, which means we can put them all as one code here and we'll try that. Or we could try something like three generated style codes. Okay, now look, I don't know what I was expecting, especially based off those descriptions, but like, look at these, those are gorgeous. And the fact that I didn't need to tune my own prompt to get these is amazing. That reference page, out of control. I can't thank you all enough, this community is amazing. And then when we included more than one style code, we're getting something like like these and these are a little more difficult to process there is one last thing I wanted to show you Ktemi also built a style decoder and I think some of you in the audience were asking about something like this maybe this isn't exactly what you wanted but this is still pretty powerful so we're gonna paste our style code here and hit convert it's going to give us the instructions which is row 8 on the left side row 49 on the right side and then row 111 on the left and then there's also an in inverted style. I really don't know what that could be, so let's try it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably just row 8 on the right side, row 49 on the left, and row 111 on the right. But again, what a way to save your fast hours and to try so many of these styles so quickly. Inverted styles are a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at these. Those are ridiculous. Moreover, you can generate random variations. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure the best way to use this. Maybe I'll leave that up to you. Please let me know if you play around with this and what you find out. I hope you find these reference pages as useful as I do. And if you want to learn more about style tuning and maybe how to create consistent art, check out this video here. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.